I've been in this appointment for about six weeks uh, full time and one of the questions that was asked of me is what does the Sergeant Major of the Army do? When I sort of stepped back and uh, thought about it, I said, why don't I get a couple of young sergeants to do it for me? Bring them in, let them spend a bit of time with me, see the people that I engage with, and then they could actually articulate to, to the wider audience within the Army and possibly defence what the Sergeant Major of the Army actually does. I'd say the impact of the Sergeant Major's work here would be in, in keeping the Chief of Army grounded and keeping in other ranks perspective on decisions that the Chief of Army would make. He has an understanding of almost every project happening within defence. At every turn there would be someone he would recognise and would discuss um, varying topics and he'd have, have a general understanding, if not an intimate knowledge, of that topic. Bringing them in wasn't, in my opinion, really about exactly what I do, but it was an opportunity to see the environment that I work in, how I interact with uh, the Deputy Chief of Army, the Chief of Army, some of the senior leadership within the Defence Force, and obviously other parts of the organisation that I engage with, so that was the educational side of it from me. Short of being called Joint Forces or, uh, or Defence House, I had no clue of, of their function. Down south and within the unit, your, um, your focus is on your unit, not what happens up in those catchphrases like joint. Although they're trying to streamline it now, you still need a massive amount of people to, to run this organisation. Well, I didn't realise how many people it takes to get this organisation off the ground overseas to do its job and how many people it takes to drive it to where it wants to be in, uh, in, the, not, in the future and they're not looking like five years in the future, it's, it's 30 years in the future. And, and, constantly onwards. My aim was to expose them to, hey, you know, this is what we do here. We actually do care about what happens in the front line. But uh, more importantly, they can see where we're trying to get to um, over the next 10, 20 years, because this is about an, a strategic environment that we are working in at this level. Uh, I'll take back to the camp um, to be patient. Although we want change to happen straight away, or we want something to happen, it's a massive beast and it has a lot of protocols to go through. And you can see why, I can see why now. I think it is important for soldiers to have a general understanding of what happens up in Wellington, um, within the joint and the, uh, the defence environment. Um, not every decision is made lightly. Uh, and it also would open the eyes to the fact that this is a career, potentially. Um, it's a long way to the top and it's a long road, but if you want it, then you can strive for it. So it's been a long journey and I wouldn't say it's been a fast journey, you know, it spans over 34 years, but I think the indications are that if you're, if you're passionate about something and um, you're doing your job well, regardless of what that job is, if you're doing it well, your career will actually take care of itself. Yeah.